mean, if we can get rid of the heavy floaters, McLean, I would risk you to engage that ethereal. By chance, maybe he won't target you. But God, all it takes is one of these floaters to fly up here and the other one's gonna grenade. Or hell, even the ethereal might just side strike all of this. The events in this video are fictional as the characters are portrayed within. Any similarities to anyone living or dead are merely coincidental, and have been created at random by XCOM's name generator. Seriously. <laughs> Hello one and all Mickey here Surviving RNG and welcome back to XCOM EW Long Y Pets. We've got a abduction to go to in Egypt, a heavy for 240 bucks. So so we've got a squad because this being urban close quarters, I'm I'm a little bit worried about it. We've had some relatively easy abduction missions the past two we've had, but close quarters maps, they can turn to hell pretty quickly. Be the way, let's start off with our leader, our likely first mass sergeant medic, and soon to be retiree unholy wasp we do actually have a couple of other retirees that we'll sort out at the end of the mission but wasp here you're at souls may live at level seven and you need like a hundred and what is it 17 xp and then you're done we're, we're just not going to use them anymore this perk tree is an absolute mess it does not synergize at all like rap reactions with heat ammo mm, no, yeah not not really actually no because heavy mech doesn't move when you trigger the pod and rap reactions actually conflicts with collateral damage because if you shoot even if you miss you then can't use collateral damage at that turn so yeah wasp after this mission you're done we're not gonna chuck you you're just going to retire like the other retirees we have in the barracks we, we might send you out on a mission again maybe it's just not likely but either way you've got aegis armor plasma carbine plasma pistol one chem grenade three med kits because you've got field medic and our only battle scanner you are by far our weakest so as may live officer to be honest we actually need another one we've only got johnson elatan cooper and Houston. that'd be four officers we're using regularly after you retire wasp be the way layer you are back from that emergency surgery that saved your life. Aegis armor, reflex rifle, plasma pistol, motion tracker, one of two, neural gun link, and alloy bipod. And, by giving you 18 aim, you actually also got your last rank up, Adrenaline Surge, which, with a bit of electro shock, will put you at 28 plus aim, which will be 115 aim. You know what, Leia? That's not bad. That is not bad at all. That's 100 to hit heavy mech with disabling shot, assuming, you know, if it's a side disc, it's landed. So yeah, don't miss, because you're the only disabling shot we've got. And then, speaking of retirees, McLean, you haven't got long left either. Three more missions, including this one, and you, like Angelo, like Bark, and like Soon, Unholy Wasp, you'll be out. Going with the Super View Plasma, Alloy Carbide Plating, the Second Motion Tracker, and Adaptive Tracking Pod. So here's what I was thinking, right? What would I give you? Because Frank has got the Holo Targeter. So I was going through the list and thinking, what, like extra aim maybe with the scope? Especially since he's got the Battle Computer. Yeah, that's actually worrying. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine, I'm sure. But the thing is, this being a close quarters map, which I'll get to in a second, we're not fighting close range. So I figured, what, like heat ammo? But again, that would require you to get in close to take advantage of close encounters to do massive heat ammo damage. Maybe light them up. But the problem is, shiv weapons only have three ammo with the upgrade, the ammo conservation project. Or auto sentry turret, the sentinel module. Again, same problem as weapon supercooler. You'll run out of ammo so quickly. But then I figured, if I want you to actually take advantage of all the ammo you've got, the best choice really is not having overwatch penalty with advanced fire control. You'll very likely hit and deal massive damage with that thing. All the overwatches you take. So that is what I went with. Uh, your, your defense though, that has me a bit worried because it's not like you've got a lot of DR either. Unlike Angelo, who I think has iron skin and also has extra conditioning for plus two health. Either way, McLean also, yeah, I noticed that. What the hell? Your color here is gray. Your color here is blue. I think Matt's mentioned it almost every time. At some point during the mission, your color switches. It switches from the gradient that I've chosen to the default, which is this. I don't know why it does. It's like literally the camera would pan away, then back, and he'd be a different color. Anyway, Frank, with only two more stars may live to go, and 6,000 XP, we'll get to that in a second. Going with the Dauntless Suit, which we need to upgrade the Defender to. Particle Cannon, we need to build another one of those. Then Standard Stuff, EMP, Flamethrower, Punchy Fist, Alloy Carbo Plating, Holo Targeter, and Battle Computer. Because you got Light Em Up and Hit and Run. And actually Rapid Fire. So you could shoot four times, hollowing three targets. Yeah, not bad, buddy, not bad. And right, you are actually Master Sergeant Plus One. So yes, we need to roll you a Master Sergeant Plus One perk. So before we head on, let's do that. So, Master Sergeant Plus One for Michael Frank. What's it gonna be? You're already like an incredible mech. Light him up, hit and run and rapid fire and lightning reflexes as well. Honestly, anything usable is good. 149, what is it? Regen Biofield. Uh, okay, I guess. I, I suppose. Not the worst in the world. It's not like mechs can get G mods. 149 then, yeah, sure. 
and there you go frank regen biofield not amazing not terrible it's it's something i suppose and there you go all right do that and that done Okay, moving on to some repair. Jack Sharpton, the Corsair armor. You don't have incredible health, seven. I prefer to keep these for people that have got like eight or nine plus, but you have some serious mobility problems. Either way, going with the plasma shotgun, plasma pistol, one arc thrower, our only one, so three in total. Walk servos and our only Psy flashbang, giving you a total of 13 mobility. Not, not bad for arc throwers in close encounters, but this mission, Jack, you finally make it in the zone. And hopefully only a few more missions are captures. You won't have to worry about carrying arc throwers, although if I'm being completely completely honest, hmm. we probably are going to bring one arc throw per mission anyway, if not for the Atlas drone that we can just take over the boss drone. Also to capture any easy, in inverted commas, ethereals. So yeah, you, this is probably going to be your gear from now on. The Corsair armor, plasma shotgun, plasma pistol, arc thrower, walk servos, and then something else. 13 mobility is not bad for that. And then time for some extended range and some side training. Starting off with Tollock Taylor. Aegis Armor, the Plasma Marksman Rifle, Plasma Pistol, Neural Gun Link, Marksman Scope, and Ghost Grenade. Why Marksman Scope? Well, we'll get to that in a second. But Tollock, you need to train up Psy, you're 250 out of 500, out of a max of 2,000, I think. So yeah, you've got, you got a ways to go. Tiber, you're going to max out Sars May Live this mission, I think. You're still a couple of missions off Master Sergeant, though. Going with Aegis Armor, Plasma Dragon, Plasma Pistol, Neural Gun Link, two Chem Grenades, because you've got Smoke and and walk servos because if not you'd be on like 10 mobility i think just pick something no you'd be on nine yeah you need that desperately the lmgs weigh people down so much and then lastly, for side training and extended range, we have Zhang going with the other Corsair armor because you have 9 health. So you know what? Minus 1 health from the armor, plus 1 mobility. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. Plasma LMG, plasma pistol, illuminate gun sight because it's not like Wasp is going to be using it. So I figured we'd have your will completely unimpaired to help out with mind fray. And then with your double tap, shredder ammo, and of course, walker servos. Because otherwise you'd be on 11 mobility instead of 14. And this mission, I believe, will get you to 500 XP, which is side panic. So that is the squad. Well, before I cover the map and how we can engage it, let's go to the list. Cup destruction is kind of a problem because the only cup destruction we've got is Wasp with collateral damage. So your reactions Wasp is me done with a pistol, hence why your perk tree is an absolute state. Medkits, three on Wasp and one on Tolik. Tolik does have field medic. Chem grenades, we don't have a lot, only two on Tiber gun, which really isn't ideal, especially with your mobility. But you know what's gonna have to do? But everything else is covered. Except for the pet. Yeah, mocking Fox's drone last episode. At least that is a pet. Right now we don't have one. And Frank, unfortunately, yep, your cookie monster is long gone. He was back in the days when, you know, you had four limbs. Organic limbs. Then mod your perks. Tolik, light them up and in the zone. Yes. Jack close encounters. Tiber gun rapid fire. McLean close encounters. Leia sentinel overwatch. Wasp, an absolutely horrendous rapid reactions pistol overwatch. Zhang double tap. And Frank, hit and run, light them up and rapid fire. So, the map. Urban close quarters. So you know what the trick is, guys, with this group of maps? The trick is is you don't fight them close quarters. If you get urban close quarters, don't build a squad for close quarters. Because if you do that, then you charge at the first pod, and because the maps are so small, you're going to trigger all the pods on the map. As such, we have gone for four extended range soldiers. Tolik with the Markman scope, Tiber Gun LMG, Zhang LMG, and of course, Leia being a sniper and a Markman rifle. Now, obviously, a normal sniper would do as well, but that's kind of overkill, given that extended range will typically cover like half of the map. These maps are so small, just a few tiles extra from normal vision range covers half the map and obviously going close quarters for a map like the Zang graveyard or the small cemetery both really really bad ideas again hence the extended range but either way let's head out there and see what we get and of course ignore frank's per tree strike one prepare for landing we're dropping you just inside current updates from the ground down there and secure the area as quickly as we can Bradley, ew, infectious humping, really? What is wrong with you? Shen, would you, would you please, for everyone's sake, delete his browse history? Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching, touching, touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five by five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. I thought I heard sectoids, but I can't actually be sure. Anyway, as always, be right back. Okay, we are back. And again, Wasp, I don't know what is wrong with you and your officer perk, but you're not handing out Legion Pass Nostra. Sure, cells may live. That you got from your perk tree or random rookie perk, I can't remember. Obviously, that you don't hand out. I have to do it manually at the beginning of the mission, like any officer perks like that. But Legion Pass Nostra, you got it from being an officer, and yet you don't hand it out. But either way, as I said, I've handed that out. Enemy types, everything. I thought I heard sectoids, but I can't be sure. Enemy numbers. Well, the last heavy we had was four pods, three pods of three 
3 and 1 port of 4. Uh, for argument's sake, you know what? Be safe. 4 port of 4. It's not extreme, just 4 port of 4. We really should be having more than 4 port of 4 at this point, but still. Then find melt. And I've got to remember to electroshock layer here with your adrenaline surge, which you definitely need with the saving shot. Where I'm going to do it, I don't know. Because moving up, like, to there will absolutely trigger. And yet I need to make space to be able to EMP her without EMPing anybody else. Anyway, melt. I wouldn't imagine I'm going to grab any, but it'd be good to know where it is. You know what? I don't see any. No, I don't see any. Okay, well, fine. McLean, tell me how close they are. Woo! Okay, there's a pod out in the street. And of course, a pod over there. I was going to take that cover, but hmm, yeah. Close quarters maps. Who needs cover? Tollic light him up. Zang double tap. And thankfully, that's it. Unfortunately, yeah, we need to EMP Leia. I think Leia's going to move here. Sure, that's going to risk triggering a pod, although you're actually there at quite a diagonal. So Leia going here, you might spot them. I think Leia, you have to go there. And Frank, you have to go like here somewhere and EMP her. Of course, if there's somebody down there, you'll also trigger them. Hmm, if you do trigger them, we're seriously boned. Well, you know what? That's five tiles. So two tiles ahead it's unlikely but go there okay okay good then frank i think you need to go here and jack you need to move back go there Moving. okay and zang and tolik you guys need cover but going there's going to trigger both that pod and that pod jack okay. zang type guy. and electro shock let's do this sorry layer gotta get those mad gains ah! engage getting bad memories here, Leia. God, it's not like you got a lot of health. Well, here we go. Let's see what's out there. Yeah, I was going to say, those were mutant footsteps. McLean? Hmm. Yeah, there is no way you can go. They are a tiny bit ahead. Frank, come back. Zang, yeah, you can easily make that cover. Tired gun, you can at least make these. You know, I think we're just going to sit here until we trigger. Wasp and Jack pistols. Jack, you got ranger as well, that's handy. And Zang, so much for your lone wolf. You never get to use this. I think the only time you will be able to use this is with, what, like Archangel armor? And also, I just noticed Mayhem and Double Tap. Now, we know Mayhem Double Tap is bugging out the damage on sniper rifles. Is it also bugging out the damage on LMGs? Oh my god. Oh god, that sucks. You know, just keep fast forwarding until we trigger something. <laughs> That's it. I don't even know what I saw. That's a lot of hits, and somebody's already killed something. Jackie missed. That was with Ranger as well. Missed by Tolik. No way that just happened. Hit by Leia. Probably the second shot as well. Massive damage. Frank shooting again. Dead. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. I will actually take that. Melt over there. Yeah, we can't grab it. Two floaters and a berserker. Zhang, you, my friend, getting to Master Sergeant, you got CCS. Ironically, Tiber Gun, you also get CCS at Master Sergeant. Just trying to copy Zhang. Well, how can we start this off with anything other than Frank and Hollow Target? And actually, Leia, you either get one shot now or two shots with Overwatch. Yeah, I think you get two shots with Overwatch. They're not only good shots, in fact, they're gonna be terrible shots, but it's better than just, you know, just taking a normal shot. So we're not gonna move from here. We're gonna Overwatch with Leia. Hollow, 75. Light him up, slash hit and run or something. Miss. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Zang. Now these hollowed. Targeting malfunction. Uh huh, yeah, sure. 89. Shred. Ooh, okay. Um, starting to feel a little bit worried I now. Not successful. Mm hmm. Tolik, please, buddy. 80. 22 damage crit. That might be the highest in the game so far. Layer 40. Best you got. Sure, sure, that's fine. And you still have one overwatch for the end of the mission or the end of the turn. Wow, wow, guys. Zhang and Frank, your misses. You know what? It makes up for that, that overwatch. That overwatch is incredible. And Leia, you hitting a 40. Yeah, done. One pod down. Let's see what else is out there. They might be the only mutants on the map. Let's hope not, but they might be. Just give me a fast forward and give me reload slowly one by one. So I'm hearing sectoids and that meld just went. Motion track. Nothing to the right, and you only see that pod. So let's go see what it is. Okay, just in range. Ooh, okay. Two sectoid commanders, sectoid and mectoid. That's not ideal. Everybody move up. Glove God, don't trigger. Yes. Position confirmed. Yeah, right. 
Oh, there's actually something further ahead as well. Yeah, damn, this could get nasty. Those sectoid commanders. Hmm. Frank, you have run and gun rapid fire, so that's good at least. Tolik, I would put you here, but that's liable to block. You know what? If we kill the mectoid, we don't need cover. We can just TK. So just move Moving up. Out. You know, depending on what else is out there. Come on, bring it. Oh. How? What? What triggered you? Hold on. You not tell me they're active. I mean, active before the end of the turn. Do not tell me they get to move now. Yeah, they get to move now. Mother. This is some bull... This is bull... They're going to move up and kill somebody. That mechtoid. You've got to be... me. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. I... I knew the fact that I ended the turn, they immediately triggered. I knew something was wrong. I don't know how they triggered, but I knew... Oh, okay, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. The mech toy didn't kill anybody. It's fine. We know we got something else out there. Sector command's going to be an issue, but we have one cover destruction, which is good enough. Yeah, that one is just in range. We see him. So where is that mech toid? That is kind of important to know. I think he's right behind you, though. Frank, you have run again, I suppose. I just don't want you to trigger that other pod. Do it. Fucking reflexes. Be nice if you destroy that for me, but that's, that's fine. It's fine. Thank God that thing didn't char charge forwards. Oh, I'd have been so mad. Hollow 91. We can kill you with a collateral damage. In fact, Leia. Uh, speaking of which, Leia, how do you not see him? You have squad sight. Oh, that's full cover. Ah, unfortunate. Okay. Well, Leia, apparently you can see him there. Can you? Yes, you see him there. I don't know if we can use the segment shot yet, but Wasp, I know what you're going to do. You're going to go here and collateral damage all of this. Hopefully get rid of that and him. The last sector commander is probably going to mind control somebody. Mm, that's a good point, actually. I would really rather save that collateral damage for the last sector commander, but we're looking at 50s right now otherwise. And of course, Zhang, you can't see anyone. Tolik, thankfully you can. 62s. I suppose we could just, you know, cloak. That is an option, but that means, Tolik, you don't get an extra shot. All right, well, Frank, hollow him, 90 one and light him up and if he shoots back you've got like reflex anyway not incredible damage then shoot him 42 hollow Hello. that's fine i guess negative damage on target and if we are gonna cloak then there's no point in putting people in cover if they don't need the cover so zang and tolik you need to get into cover everybody else doesn't need to oh but leia yeah you can't cloak so we might just have you fall back one saying if you go there can you see the mech Yes, you can. All right, then move As up. You wish. Shred the mech, 100. Wow, man. Type gun. If you go there, can you see the mech? No, you can't. Here? No. Although, to be completely honest, you don't need cover, do you, if we're going to ghost? So you can go there, and yes, you can see him. All right, so go back. Unfortunately, toilet, that means you don't shoot. McLean, somehow you see the mech there. Go. Oh, you have CCS though. Oh, but if he reveals you, what's he gonna do? The only way he'll reveal you is with a dash and the sector commands can't do anything to you. So 89, shred hollow, come on. That's what we're looking for. Tire the gun. Gotta be careful with Zhang as well, actually. Zhang, you also have CCS, although I, hmm. Yeah, the mech could charge full in here. He wouldn't have a shot, but the sector commanders could mind control Zhang. Either way, two 90s, tire the gun, please don't miss. Decent-ish. Not incredible, Jack. I mean, who do you shoot? I guess you have Ranger. That is better than nothing. 100. Not bad. Wasp, don't use your primary weapon, only your secondary. In fact, honestly, I'm kind of tempted to command Tiger Gun right now. Have him shoot again. Yeah, I think do it. Tiger Gun, 290s, make this count. Good. Beautiful. Tollock should be able to kill. Wasp, let's confirm that. <laughs> 73. Yeah, try it. That's fine. Now, Tollock, you know that you can't see the mech. Actually, can you? No, you can't. Here. No, you, you have extended range, right? There. Only him. Here. No. There. Here. Wow. Okay, guys. Hmm. I think you can't kill him unless you can do it from behind the car. Can you hit him from behind the car? That's a no. One further. Yes, in fact, that's a yes. All right, but can you cloak from here? Apparently so, you can. <laughs> I'm really worried about this. I mean, it says you can do it. And it also says you can cloak everyone. All right, go back to, what was it, like here somewhere? Then move over. You're in trouble if you can't cloak now. It says you can cloak everyone. All right, kill him. Don't block the car. Kill 
with that one mechoid. Then you have to cloak. So cloak everyone. There you go. So Zhang has CCS, but the mechoid's already dead. Zhang also has CCS, but if they reveal him, what are they gonna do to him? Leia, you need to step back. Kind of a shame, to be honest. Just go there, and overwatch there. Where are you going? Ow, okay. Okay, Wasp, you can, in fact, collateral damage that, correct? Yes, you can. Question is, do I want to do that now? Do I want to save up for the other guy who is right there? Because if he mind controls Frank, that is going to be a big problem. Motion track, where is everybody else? So here, here, and there, and there's another pod right behind that sectoid. Frank, you've got two shots. Well, one shot and a rapid fire. Apollo 42, let's see what damage we can do to him right now, because I don't want to use collateral damage yet. 42. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, we can probably kill him then. Zhang, 67. Uh, the sectoid could flank you, but honestly, who cares? It's just sectoid. 67, double tap. Done. Okay. That alien is no longer a threat. He no longer is, is he? Frank, oh, you don't have a shot. Interesting. Awkward. Yeah, that, that tombstone's in the way. Ah, oh, screw it. Actually, Tolik, no shot. That is annoying. Well, I mean, all you've got is double tap, right? Yeah, just shoot him. 35. Hit and shredded. Unbelievable. Well done, buddy. Leia, you might as well. You've got good aim. 50. Do what you can. Coin flip. Done. Beautiful. Outstanding work. That leaves one sector commander, and we can collateral damage his cover as soon as he appears. Although, of course, ideally, yeah, also pistol, make sure you don't use that. We need that collateral damage. Let's put people Damn into right. cover. Okay. Come on then, sector commander. I'd like to catch you, but <laughs> not in a hurry. Wasp, 25. Pistol. At long range. That's fine. That's fine. Absolutely fine. As long as he doesn't mind control you. Which, mm, yeah, he could do. And also... Okay, thank God. I was going to say, that is indestructible cover! Jack. Range of pistol. That's fine. McLean, 60. No overwatch penalty. Through all of the cover. Massive, massive damage. Can we get shots on you? Yes. Yes, we can. 27. That's fine. Actually, I'm almost out of ammo. Target I'm kind of wondering remains. if Wasp Carbine. Let's not hit him. Let's just get rid of the cover. There you go. Don't kill him. Oh, I'd like to keep his corpse. There you go. Now you're out in the open. Now, who needs some levels? Type gun, actually. Or layer. God, the angle's here. Type gun, do you see him? Yes, you do. All right. Then go That's there. Good. Give me a good old rapid fire, 271s. Hit and. Dead. Beautiful. Outstanding. Jack, move away so Leia can shoot. In fact, Leia can just go there. Who needs ammo? Frank, right here. Jack, pistol. And that's it, overwatches. What else is out there? Two pods down. A pod three and a pod four. Leia. Ooh, last motion tracker. Uh, you're not giving me reloads. Ethereal. Okay. Listen. Hmm. And we use our cloak grenade. Right. If I knew there was an ethereal here, I would be nowhere near as quick to use our cloak grenade. That's kind of scary. Jack, make room for Leia. And Leia, cloak your way over there. All right. You just, okay. That's fine. That's fine. You go that way. Nothing so far. Tolik. And that's it. Overwatches. They are right. Leia, can you sprint here? Hmm, or not. I could have sworn I heard on this side. Maybe they're just further down. Overwatches. Yeah, they are that side. Alright, Wasp. Now, for the love of God, don't trigger with this or you will die. What is out here? Okay, last pods. We have got... Oh, no. There are two heavy floaters and four sectoids and a sectoid commander. And you can't see the sectoids. I want to shoot the sectoids first. Yeah, Zhang, not you either. Tolik. Okay, you, yes. In fact, you could probably even kill one of the sectoids with an in-zone. So just him. And what have you got, Ethereal? My Frey, Rift, Silence, Side Control, Side Rain. You don't have regen. Interesting. Hold on, like outsiders, regen doesn't appear here. Damn. So yeah, you probably still have regen. Yeah, the lowest, absolute lowest base tier Ethereals don't have regen, I think. Either way, you're going to shoot him. That lone sectoid that's in range. Tolik, why? Oh my god. I thought this was Tolik. This guy right here. No, that's Tiber gun. Someone's go, yeah, that, that marksman rifle looks pretty heavy. Right, 95. Let's see if you crit and if you kill. Uh, I'm guessing that's a no. Is it yes? Bye -bye. Hot. 
Ah, but we can't overwatch. If we overwatch, we're gonna trigger them. And yeah, you can only see them. Damn, unfortunate. Well, Frank, you're the worst person to be mind controlled. Although yeah, Wasp has already moved, but it should be fine. Even though you're on the cover thrashing. Ugh, not amazing. Yeah, if Wasp gets mind controlled by the sector commander and we trigger this pod at the same time, then we're gonna be in trouble. I'm sure he doesn't exactly have a lot of stopping power, but still, Frank, full back. Position. Extended range, move behind the car, I think. God, that's gonna be annoying, isn't it? You know what, Tiger Gun, you run here, because you can move and shoot with rapid fire. Although I might want you close to use a chem. You know what, there's going. Considering I don't want you guys to shoot, Tiger Gun sprint to there. Tolik, you're gonna move to there, because you can't do anything else. I don't want to shoot them or Overwatch. Jack, your Overwatch is not extended range, though, so you can go there. Same goes for McLean, and it's not like the Sector Command can do anything to you. So you wanna sit right next to Wasp, there. And then Leia, not really sure what you can do. You can move here, but if that ethereal pod moves up a tiny, tiny bit and doesn't trigger, you're gonna be stuck. I suppose you could move there and steady to help guarantee the kill. Where's he liable to go, here or there? He can't reach any of this, unless it's the dash. Good point, actually. Yeah, he can't reach this. That's me out of range, because they're out of range. And this is a dash, so yeah, you can't do anything. But either way, yeah, we can't overwatch. At least not with uh, non-extended range. Speaking of which, all right, Tolik, that was an insta zone, yeah? Switch to your pistol, same with Zhang, for non-extended range overwatch and Leia yeah, go there and steady. So two sectoids, one sectoid commander live, as well as two heavy floaters and one ethereal. Okay, non-extended range overwatch. Let's do this. Just don't charge forwards. Don't charge forwards. I want the opportunity to capture you, ethereal. Okay, dash. Are you, no, you shouldn't be in range, right? And a dash, okay. Just don't. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, that's what I was worried about. Very good shot, McLean. I'm glad I picked that automated threat assessment. Very, very good shot. I'm glad he's moving back. Okay. Unfortunately, the wounded one went back as well. Not so much okay. None of you guys have shots. None of you. That is impressive. Yeah, this is awkward. We can stack up here, but as soon as one floater flies past this point, the other one can grenade this. Likewise going here. If we go there and one floater sees that, the other one will grenade it. And I've heard ethereals simply don't act against shivs. They completely ignore shivs. That's not really something I want to test. Well, I think what I'm going to do, yeah, if that floater charges Leia and reveals her, we'll have an exact repeat of last time where Leia gets revealed by a charging target. All right, well, Tolik, you're going to go back there. Will do. Wait, you have a shot? Since when? But you couldn't see him from there. It's that damn tombstone, isn't it? Okay, well, yes, you have a shot. But the float is in full cover. All right, well, Frank. McLean. Frank Hunker. Wasp, you want to go here? I'm actually tempted to heal you, Leia. I don't repeat a last time. Yeah, he could charge you. He could charge all of us. But if I leave Tolik there, hopefully he'll just move up and take a shot at him. So one, two, three. And we have four. Not, not ideal. And these are only two cover. Well, that's one cover. That float is not in range to flank us. That sectoid is, though. I think someone has to go here. So one, two, three, four. God, it. this is such a grenade bait. Jack, you're the lowest health. Go there. Uh, that's hard. And I'm worried, hmm, that ethereal could move up and side strike us all. I still can't remember how much damage side strike does. Everybody hunker, including Leia. In fact, oh no, Leia, you already see them. So yeah, you can't just move over there. I suppose you could move back and then go over there. But again, you'd have the same problem. If they charge you, that'll reveal you. So yeah, everybody hunker. Heroes, didn't it? McLean, you can overwatch. Frank, you do not. So what are you going to do? I don't know if you'll see Tolik from there. The moment one of them can see Tolik, everybody else is going to charge him. And it's the Ethereal I'm worried about. Now he's going to see Tolik. The Ethereal can move up and mind control him. Don't get eyes on. Okay, good, 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 good. All right. And you just fly up. I want to kill you. Hmm. Interesting. We could collateral damage all of this, and if I had a ghost grenade, I'd happily do that. Again, the problem is, if the floaters see anyone here, they're going to grenade this wall, and then lots and lots of people are going to die. Frank, I think you're going to shoot the ethereal, because he's the only free shot you've got. So go do that. That is a big old 55. Nope. Uh-huh. And a miss. Okay. 
Well, at this point, hmm, I mean, if we can get rid of the heavy floaters, McLean, I would risk you to engage that ethereal. By chance, maybe he won't target you. But God, all it takes is one of these floaters to fly up here and the other one's gonna grenade. Or hell, even the ethereal might just side strike all of this. Or side storm it, I mean. If we had Cass, a mech with neural dampening, he could just charge out here. It will hurt him, but it won't convert him. McLean, I think you're gonna charge here. Maybe you'll get in range of the sector commander. Go do that. And in fact, maybe, just maybe, if we separate people out a little bit, they won't throw grenades. Although, this height advantage, all it takes is the floater flying a little bit and they'll see people there. Yeah, Frank, you can't exactly move much. Apparently, you can't see anyone there. God, one grenade is going to get people killed. Now, I'm assuming you can't make that in one move. Because if you can, uh, well, one tile off you. Actually, no, exactly the same tile. Oh, my God. Yeah, you probably can make that, actually. Run. That's hard. Jack, you as well. Although, Jack, you can go here and flashbang them. Try it. Side like flashbang? Well, it's a yes on one of them. Yeah, you can't hit the flying one, because you can never hit flying ones. At least you can hit him. So if one flies over, the other one's not on the grenade, assuming that one can't just see people flying up and will grenade immediately. Yes, flashbang. I just need one to dash up here, and we can nuke it down. Okay, target gun, I'd like your chem as well. Hmm. Later, how far can you run? Pretty far. Yeah, I might have you sprint across as well. I have a feeling this is going to end badly. Run! Tolik, where can you go? It's right that corner, isn't it? Not great. That ethereal may be able to get around here, maybe? I think Frank, you're going to have to block for him. But then again, if you can see Tolik stepping out to the left, he will see Frank. And my controlling Frank will be much, much, much worse. And again, Zhang, I kind of need you somewhere I can use you. Likewise, Tiber Gun. If I stack up here, that's a grenade. Tiber Gun, run. God, I am so worried about grenade here. Zhang, I think you're going to stay on this side. On go here. Tolik, you want to sprint to there. Uh, no way from in the zone. Yeah, not a chance. In fact, maybe Frank. Oh, no, that wouldn't be him, run, would it? Run. Yes, sir. And then Frank, you'll whack the biggest problem. Go there. You get mind controlled, it could be a squad wipe. Tolik, on the other hand, he actually has really bad close range possibilities. So that's it. You see him? And yep, you see him. That means everybody else will. Damn. No! Ooh, really, really bad. Really, really bad. <laughs> oh, um, Regen Biofield can cure panic, can't it? Or it can crash the game, I think. One of those two. Oh, right, it's our turn. <laughs> well, Frank, if there is Overwatch, burn it. Flashbanged, 0%. Ethereal's now going that way. I don't know where the other heavy floater is, though. You're there. Motion track. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, there. Yeah, the floater's here. And yes, he could be on Overwatch. Leia, should you run that? I think you run here, because McLean, you're gonna go point blank him and kill him, hopefully, probably. Leia, you sprinted there. Where is that floater? Should be here somewhere, right? Great, couldn't actually see. Cool. Jack, you can go there. That's suicide. Although somehow you don't see the ethereal there for reasons. Okay. Yeah, if you're a tiny bit closer, you could run to there maybe. Well, either way, type gun, you can at least chem the ethereal and slow him down. God, but that floater. I mean, I know he's not on overwatch, but the other floater could be. Damn it, McLean, we need this. No overwatch. Where is he? Where's the other floater? Uh, what? Hold on. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And you couldn't see a float when he was here. Weird. Okay. You know what? I'll take it. He is flashbanged. Not for long, though. 295s. Don't miss. Beautiful. McLean, I'm pretty sure you've already got the your worst nightmare medal. Kill him and two sectoids. Three more kills for you. Very, very worthwhile. Brilliant. That leaves two heavy floaters and one ethereal. Much, much better. Time we're going to need to move over and chem him. Slow him down a little bit. Get boop, son. Beautiful. Frank, you might as well take a free shot. Hit and run. 55 again. Okay, hit this time. Hit this time. Okay. And let's see if you regen, which, I mean, you're going to. You look like a relatively low-level ethereal, but you're going to regen. And there's no way he's going to be able to make that. So, Frank, go here. I'm on the and block for Tolik. And Zhang, I'm actually almost tempted to sprint you to here. Now that ethereal's chemmed. You've got a lot of health. I mean, hmm. Yeah, even chemmed, he could just move to, like, here and mind control. Yeah, we can't do that. Damn. Jack shotgun, wasp, pistol, and that is it. McLean, please live. <laughs> Okay, acid. Shot 70. Yep, it's gonna hurt. 
Reactive Darkness Sense is 45. Oh, right, it doesn't use... Never mind. I can say it doesn't use um, the Overwatch penalty. Yeah, that's kind of you done, McLean, unfortunately. Regen A health. Yeah, yeah, that's a problem. Okay. Have you cured panic yet with your regen biofield? No, still panicked. Well, McLean, you know what? You did your job. You're not even wounded yet. Run back. Again, we have the exact same problem. If one floater sees these guys, the other one could grenade easily. You reload. Everybody else is going to overwatch. We well, you know what wasp reload. Yes. reload your pistol. And Frank, just step out here for a second. Move Why not? They are both flying, aren't they? Yep, both flying. Not great. Move back. Commander. Everybody overwatch. Okay, Frank, get out as far as he can. There's Overwatch waiting to burn it. Hmm, there is not Overwatch, but there is floaters coming our way. There is a lot of floaters coming our way. Ooh, Leia. Actually, Leia, you can go there and be completely safe. Okay, well, actually, no, he can still flank you. Um, well, McLean, this might be your sacrifice, unfortunately, because I don't think you can kill him one hit. Point blank him. Hi, that's an 81. Wow, do it. Yeah, that's a hit. Now the question is, do you stay there and shoot again? You've got 12 health. The floater's not liable to do 12 damage. Tolik, you're back. If you went here, Tolik, you don't see them. Okay. How far can you go? If you go here, Tolik, you do see them. 77. Oh my god. And Wasp, you're on that side, aren't you? So no command. And you'd have to do 9 damage. Tolik, I think you're going to do it. Well, actually, first, obviously. You're going to teleport back and then move over there. Tolik needs to do 9 damage with a 77. I mean, it's you or anybody else. That's not a kill. Son of... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And that's our only in the zone. Two extended range over here. Tiber gun and Leia, as I had planned. And yeah, Zhang, you can't see him from there, can you? Nope. Here? Yes. You can go there and shoot him, but then what? I think that's 81 to kill. That's not exactly guaranteed. Zhang, go there. I was thinking you could shoot him, Zhang, then McLean, you could kill him, then CCS the other one, which assuming that it will move, which not necessarily. But of course, that's an 81, that's like a 74. Those are by no means guaranteed hits. So, 72. Right, you've got the Illuminate gun sight, yeah. So, Executioner. Oh my god, Zhang, 72. That's a miss, isn't it? Mother. Yep. Okay. <sighs> Missed. Now they're in the danger zone from the ethereal. McLean, you have danger zone suppression, don't you? Not mayhem suppression, yep. You'll get two more health at the end of our turn, I think. An 81. And if we fail, what? McLean will die. But if Frank, you try to shoot him, the ethereal's gonna mind control you, and then we're gonna be in a lot, lot more trouble. Sorry, buddy. 81. Son of a... Hmm. Wowza. Wasp, if you go there... Can you somehow get collateral damage over the wall? No, you can't aim with elevation. Uh, crap, I, I can't remember where he was. There, I think? Here, I know you can. Yeah, you definitely can. Which you might do that, buddy. I'd rather you get mind control than anybody else. Of course, the ethereal could definitely kill you, but I think you need to lead by example. Or, Tiger Gun, step over one. Can you check him? He doesn't have any kind of repair, does he? Danger zone, depth perception, sapper, evasion, launch, and bombard. Step back. The question is, can you chem them? If you can chem that one on the left, then he'll be immobilized. If this chem fails, then we're boned. God, this sucks. Do it. Come on. Well, I mean, I was hoping it wouldn't, but it hit him. He's now stuck. He's dead. Him, on the other hand, he's a problem. He's going to deal a lot of damage to McLean. Because McLean now doesn't have any DR. Leia, you're going to sprint to here now. Go run. Tiber Gun, can you hide over here anywhere? <laughs> That's a dead end. I think, Tiber Gun, you're going to stay here. Just go there and overwatch. McLean, please live. You're three missions away from retirement. Frank, for the love of God, you can't be there. Step hey, back. Jack, funnily enough, your best bet is to be over here. Your health is not great, although they see him, so they may know where everyone is. He's still chemmed. Yep. So he probably can't get through here? He could, though. Jack, run. Ah, I need to close hard. encounters. This is getting really dangerous now. And over God. So, two more health. You're chemmed, not great. You're gonna do what? Are you gonna target McLean? You're, you're gonna target him though. You're gonna run away, interesting, okay. Well, not entirely run away. Yes, you are gonna run away. Okay, good, 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 good. You're of course gonna shoot. Yep, now you're wounded. Reactive Darkness sets us 50. Yes, best perk in the game. 
actually, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Well done. Okay. Now, McLean, shoot the other one 50. Oh, right. Is there any way you can get more point blank? Go there. What is it now? 61. Try it, buddy. Beautiful. Outstanding. Now, apparently he won't do anything that ethereal. Tolik, you've got two shots to kill him. 77. Light him up and then in the zone. Dead. Beautiful. Okay, that leaves us with one single ethereal. We have one command and three arc throwers. Leia, sprint back. Then you guys, just fall back and reloads. Right, that was in the zone, so you get an action. Oof, man, that was close. McLean, I don't know if he's going to do anything, but let's not push our luck. Go hide. Everybody reloads. Okay, Jack Lightning reflexes. Take a peek. Still chemmed, apparently. If he comes at more an angle, he will see you there, Tiber Gun. In that case, go here. McLean, go here and reload. Jack, you're going to sit tight right there, getting ready for a capture. And then Wasp there. Probably going to get one attempt at this. Tolik and Zango here. Frank, I think you're going to sprint up here. On your order. And Leia, to be honest, you're probably better off going further back. You don't offer much close up. I mean, maybe a pistol, possibly? Fine, stay there, pistol. All right, then. Wow, this is scary. Two more health. Quiet! Living my dream here. Yep. Who do you see? You're going there, are you? Okay. Well, unfortunately, this is it. And you are, oh, you cheeky. You are right behind cover. McLean, you're not chemmed anymore. Tiger Gun, you've got a rapid fire. I think this is all we need. Frank, you've got a shot from here with holo targeting. Tiger Gun, you've got rapid fire. We also have Jack, McLean with close encounters, Jack with close encounters as well. So you guys, I mean, Tolik maybe got an angle. Zhang, worst case, you can run and gun to get a free shot, but I don't really want to shred him. So this is it. Do we come home That's with an ethereal? I mean, I could flame him, but the chance of panicking Ethereal with flame is so low. I mean, you guys have seen the difference between panicking a pot of mutons and panicking the leader of those mutons. Same with heavy floaters, same with mutant elites. Just a little bit more will is enough to resist the panic from flame. So, Hollow 72. Okay. Then, Tiber Gun. You want to go here, Roger, not completely right point blank, and rapid fire him, 287s. Miss, okay. That's not great. McLean, you've already been wounded. Fine, move in. Then, 88. Okay, yes, you've got the damage to take it. Another one, 88. What does that put you on? Oh man, that puts you on something close is what it puts you on. He's got a lot of DR, you're not gonna crit him. Shoot him again, Frank. That might do it. Yeah, it does do it. Brilliant. Outstanding. Okay. Oh, oh, it's close now. It's close. Jack, get in here. Are we there yet? Please bring home that stupid, ugly face ethereal. Surrender, swine. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yikes, that looked painful. Chalk up another one. Absolutely beautiful. God, that was close. We had 257s. Beyond that, we'd be risking people's lives. Oh, man, that was close. McLean, you are getting way too old for this. Although, having said that, she was instrumental with this mission. I really got to start bringing out shivs more often. Speaking of which, I've really got to build a hover shiv. Thank God. That... I, after this mission, I was going to talk about the things we need to do. Capturing Ethereal was on the top of that list. And I was thinking, oh, we're not going to be able to do it until we shoot down an Overseer ship. But no, no, this was exactly what I was hoping for. Trigger an Ethereal near the end of the mission, kill everything else, get into a position where we can hurt the Ethereal enough, and then we got two shots from one person using a command. Potentially three if we had a cloaking grenade. But absolutely outstanding. Well done, everyone. Absolutely outstanding. McLean damage, four days. God, that's not even the fatigue that everybody's got. Your damage less than the average fatigue people have. Less than the minimum fatigue people have. Outstanding. And Wasp, you have completed your training and on such an incredible fanfare, you're done, buddy. You like McLean, you're getting too old for this. Combat drugs, no, no. 
your Ranbrook perk was... Oh, Sars may live, yeah. Low profile, no. Combat drugs, god, no. The only thing that'd be mildly useful if I ever took you out again was heat ammo. So yeah, it's gotta be this, which isn't great because you've only got one multi-shot perk, which conflicts with your other key utility perk, collateral damage. But either way, worst case scenario, you could collateral like a heavy mech with a support mech nearby and deal like 15 damage to each target. So yeah, do it. Done. And Wasp, enjoy retirement. You have earned it. God, that was rough. I can't believe that. Jack, well done, my friend. Well done. I've been dreading capturing Ethereal so long. After editing last episode, I actually made a list of things that we need to do. Things that we need to do, things I want to do, and things we're probably not going to do. Wow. Excellent work, Commander. Capturing the alien subjects alive allows for a much wider range of experimentation versus the expired specimens. We unlocked Interrogate Ethereal. As well as five sectoral corpses, three sectoral commanders, three floaters, two heavy floaters, and a berserker. That was beautiful. And of course, the mechtoid core. As well as 26 Illyrium, 31 alien alloys, 18 weapon fragments, and 18 meld. Nice. 240 bucks. Definitely, definitely worth going slow on that mission. Oh, and the super heavy plasma was damaged. That's cool, we got two of them. We will be in touch, Commander. That was totally worth it. 54 bucks. Ugh, pricey. Hey, Varlin, I finally have a research project for you. Seven days, we can start training up mind control. You are gonna have a bad day with Varlin. Welcome to XCOM, welcome to Earth. God, that was beautiful. Okay, well, be right back. Okay, and we are back. Officer Perks handed out. That was just some incredible work there. And actually, Jack, considering I know who got the capture, and it was only one, plus one kill, God, Captain Ethereal should be worth a lot more than plus one kill. But that will do. And Zhang is ready to go back into the test tube. He's capped out Sai. And right, other people that have retired. Angelo, you have retired. Absolutely. Maxed out Sars may live and Master Sergeant. So yep, you get that medal. Granted, you got it, I don't know how many missions ago, but the, the number on the medal will be correct. And Bark, thank God I'm never going to use you anymore. You also get that medal with your stupid CCS and reactive targeting senses breaking the shield. Yep, you get that medal from whenever you got it from. And that's it. Those are the three retired people that I really hope we're not going to be using anymore. Now, now it is time to talk about the things we need to do. I think we're on the brink of heading into the end game of this campaign. That means we have to capture an ethereal. Not anymore we don't. Varlin is having lots of fun here with her ethereal. And she will be for a week, poor guy. Yeah, he had no idea how cruel humans could be until he met her. So that we can tick off the list. Next up, here we go, objectives. Build a firestorm. Why is that an objective? <laughs> That's not my objective. I intend to, but it's not an objective. We don't need to build a firestorm to complete the game. Next objective is shoot down an overseer ship, which as long as they still only have one weapon, one double plasma cannon, which fires as a single projectile, yes, we can do that very easily, he says. So that is the next objective. The moment we get an overseer ship in a country that has both an EMP cannon and a plasma cannon, like the US, you know, when they're both working. In fact, no, we don't have a spare plasma cannon. I thought we're building one now. Yeah, I could have sworn we had one and the other one was building. Guess not. You know what? Sure, do it. Build our second plasma cannon. We've got a lot of these to build anyway. So that's objective number two, shoot down an overseer ship. Next objective, train the volunteer, whoever it might be, up to mind control. This is what's required to be able to use the Gollop Chamber and in turn trigger the final game state. So Annette, you're actually ready right now. As soon as the ethereal is done, you can go into the Psylabs and train up mind control. But Annette, let's be honest. Yeah, I doubt it's gonna be you. I, I can't, I can't picture me bring you onto the temple ship with the perks you've got. It will likely be an A-lister. Of course, that's not to say that I'm not going to train with the people that are, you know, capable of doing it, that have got like 80 plus will, but it's going to be an A-lister like Larry or Tolik, Zhang maybe, all he's got is double tap and CCS, we'll see, but at least one person needs to train up mind control. The next thing we need to do is build the Gollop Chamber after we shoot down the Overseer ship, and although it's pricey, it's actually only about as pricey as one Aurora armor, or one Archangel armor, taking into account building a Titan armor. It's comparatively not that pricey, you know, compared to the, to the rest of the stuff in the endgame. And then the final thing 
thing we need to do is build one Aurora armor. And that's it, we're ready to go. Of course, that's not all I wanna do. Those are simply the things that we need to do before we end the campaign. We literally can't trigger the end state before that point. The things that I want to do are capture and build all of the plasma weapons I intended to, the ground-based plasma weapons, the soldier weapons. That means one more pistol capture, five more rifles, and three more heavy weapons. We are, we are so close, guys. We're so close. We are absolutely getting there. But yes, the ground-based plasma weapons, they all need to be done. Even if it means like having four LMGs, four shotguns, four marksman rifles, four sniper rifles, stuff like that, I want to have backups of everything so that on the temple ship, I don't have to make any compromises whatsoever. And not to mention they're handy to have for like base defenses and base assaults. Or like we saw with McLean, if the weapon gets damaged. And then the last thing that I want to do before the end of the campaign is of course decide on the 12 man A team and train them up in the most basic of gene mods to make them more capable. So Van Dorn actually, you can get neural dampening. You're not be training Psy, so yeah, you can get that. Smart max phages, meh, don't know if it's worth it. Hyperactive pupils and depth perception. I mean, if they were free just out of nowhere, not like part of any master sergeant or random rookie perks, just here's a perk. Yeah, sure, if they were free, but they're not. 10 aim only after missing your last shot or plus five aim with height advantage. I, I don't know how useful they're gonna be. Secondary heart, no, that's kind of pointless for the temple ship. Although it does guarantee a crit wound, doesn't it? Hmm, tempting. Adrena of sympathy, again, that's handy. Bioskin, we only need one person to have that, like the concealment soldier typically. Iron skin, absolutely yes. As well as jumpy legs, so it's handy. Adaptive bone marrow, not really. And the reason why I'm not doing this now is because the more gene mods that people have, the longer their cooldown is on fatigue, which I've never really understood why Longwood did that. Because you're paying for this stuff. Why are you paying for a negative? You're paying for a bonus that also takes them longer to recover. For Psy, I think, sure, that makes sense. Because it is, it's free, I guess. I mean, you could say that the time it takes is an investment. But for all intents and purposes, it is free. The gene mods, they're not free. You're paying and spending the time. They shouldn't have a time penalty on their fatigue. Anyway, that's fine. Moving on. Right, there was one more thing that I needed slash one to do. Build six Archangel armors and build six Aurora armors. Oh, no, it's not Aurora, is it? Aurora's the crap version. I'm sure you guys would have commented below. No, it's not Seraph either. That's the light Archangel armor. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called. It's the heavy variant of the Aurora armor. It has plus one health over the Aegis armor, same ability, and like plus 20 will. So yeah, I want to build six Archangel armors and six whatever th that Psy armor is. I don't know if I'll build all six but I am aiming that direction. And of course, we definitely need another Dauntless suit. When? I don't know, but I do want to start taking out more than one mech per mission. Which leads us on to things that I probably won't do before the end of the campaign, speaking of turning people into mechs. As I've said, people that are like B or C tier, I would probably cut off their arms and legs as a punishment and stick their wriggly torso inside of a mech suit. But to say that I'll have a chance to do that with every single person that I think is sub tier, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I have a few people in mind, I suppose, but we'll see. Not everybody that I think should be a mech will have a chance to become a mech, simply out of time constraints. Next thing I probably won't have the time to do is completely kit out the air game exactly how I want. Of course, I want, per continent, two EMPs, two plasma cannons, one laser cannon, and one fusion cannon. Now, if you want to do the maths, one fusion cannon per continent, five continents, that's five fusion cannons. I also want two fusion cannons to be fusion blasters, the plasma rocket launchers, that's seven. That means we have to shoot down eight very large ships. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. It will surprise me if we even get one fusion cannon. But two plasma cannons, two EMPs, I am gonna try and aim for that. And yes, per continent. Likewise, firestorms, ideally, I want at least two per continent. Again, I really, really doubt it's gonna happen. Cause that is, well, there you go. This put a zero on the end of it. You're looking at three and a half grand, 900 Illyrium, 1,300 alloys. Although I guess this stuff has rebates. But yeah, I, I doubt I'm gonna get two firestorms per continent. I would like to, but I doubt it. Speaking of continents, I doubt I'm gonna take Europe, or at least to be more precise, I'm not gonna take Europe just for the sake of taking Europe. If we're very, very low on components, like alloys and Illyrium, and we just can't build any more, and it's gonna take longer to wait for the Illyriums to come to us in the form of UFOs, then it would be just simply to assault these bases, then I'll take back Europe, but only for the sake of getting components. I'm not gonna do it just for the sake of it, just for the sake of controlling everything. And then the Psy Troopers, the Psy Candidates. I am going to try and max out everybody, everybody that I've considered a Psy Volunteer or Psy Candidate Volunteer. But let's be honest, guys, I'm probably not going to max out everybody. I'm going to try to, but probably won't have the time to max out every candidate. Which leads me on to, and something that should not be a surprise by any means to anyone, I am not going to max out every single soldier with all ranks and all stars my live. Not going to happen, guys. It is a futile task that could take an infinite amount of episodes. And that's 20 hours worth of editing per episode. Yeah, infinite times 20 hours, I don't, I don't really have that available. Sorry. 
And the last thing that I would like to, but probably won't, is mind control and ethereal. I will try to mind control ethereals. Once we've got people trained up in mind control, considering it's the only way to get Psyrift. Now granted, as I said, you don't need Psyrift to end the game, but I will try mind control ethereals. It's not a guarantee though, guys. It is not a guarantee by any means. And certainly not mind control and ethereal with every single Psy volunteer candidate. And actually to that end, I had written down, and I was gonna mention at the beginning of the episode, but considering we can't do it, I didn't mention it. I want to build another cloaking grenade. In fact, two more, but that needs seekers. And I believe we have four out of seven. But yeah, if we can get a bunch of ghost grenades and then there is a like a crashed fighter and we know there's an ethereal there then sure i'll try mind control one we can spend one turn stacking as many mind frays as will hit on that ethereal and then the next turn every single person can roll like i don't know tens or twenties to mind control it and that is everything covered all the things that i need to do all the things that i want to do and all the things i'd like to do but probably won't have the time so where's that terror mission there's a dodge and sector we cap Div for Germany. Germany, are you maxed out? I can't tell. I don't think you are. I think the top two pixels aren't filled. God, it's so difficult to tell. But you know what? Considering that we have seven of them, and I intend to get one more anyway for the last pistol. Yeah, sure. Why not? Keep going. Aim. Thank you. You're going to want to take a look at this, Commander. Huh. Incoming transmission from the Council. Interesting. Bomb mission. Data mining. The aliens are attempting to infiltrate one of our remote data storage facilities in Canada. We cannot allow them to gain access to our uncleared Firefox history and the sensitive information stored within. We will transmit a complete briefing to Central as well as the formatting software you will need. And hey, we get a reward soldier. I think the only reward soldier we got so far is Archer, I think? Yeah. Our second reward soldier, as opposed to trade soldiers. And 205 bucks. Yes, please, thank you. Hold on, can Yes, Canada! Canada, yes! Yes, Canada panic reduction. Yep, Canada. Thank God they get a second win. Granted, that one mission I doubt is going to lower the panic more than two pips. That means the terror mission here is still going to be really, really rough. But at least it'll be possible. Just possible to win it. If we've got a terror mission here right now, yeah, we, we can't win. Canada will max out and it'll probably just leave immediately from the man that gets overflowed. All right then. And actually, you know what? Build a second skeleton key. Done. I want to do that anyway. So maybe even take the exact same squad? You know, except for Wasp, because why the hell would I do that? But yeah, I might take the exact same squad. Also except for McLean, who's wounded. And actually, a couple of things before we end the episode. Van Dorn, considering I was talking about gene mods, and considering we need an officer for the final mission, the Temple Ship, also considering you are the only officer we've got that has both combined arms and band of warriors, essentially plus one damage and plus eight, or however many continent bonuses we've got, aim for the entire squad. You know what? Yes, we're going to start gene modding you. And you don't come out on many missions. You're not even leading terror missions anymore. You might start, but as I said, you're going out on missions so rarely, you might as well just do this. It's not like the extra fatigue is going to impair you at all. So you know what? Yes, you're going to get every single one. Start off with neural dampening. Uh, how expensive is it? I'll go to the labs. There we go. That's better. 20 bucks, 20 melt. So assuming an average of 2020, which is kind of an average, and there's 10, we're looking at 200 meld, 200 bucks, which for one soldier isn't that bad. For 12 soldiers, on the other hand, mm, yeah, 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 that's, that's a little bit more. Although I suppose we're taking like two mechs and probably at least one shiv. So yep, Van Dorn, start us off neural dampening. Oh, you have to select it and then go down here. Can you do multiple in one go? Yeah, you can. Oh, I'm an idiot. I thought you'd do the same gene mod, but no, each tier you can only do one. God, I haven't played Endgame mechs in such a long time. I honestly thought you could do both of a single tier. Oh, in that case, well, there you go, it's cheaper. So either Van Dorn, immunity to acid and plus two HP when you're healed, or plus 20 will when defending from side attacks. Yes, Van Dorn, plus 20 will. That would put you at one. 100 will. Probably close to 110 with Legia Pastinostra. So yeah, definitely neural dampening. And in fact, depth perception. No, let's not bother with that. Let's go with hyperactive pupils. Let's do both at the same time. 26 mil, 30 bucks. Confirm gene implants. 13 days, 30, 26. So it just does one after another. You don't save out on any money or any time. Neural dampening is 10 days, hyperactive pupils is three. So yeah, you don't save any money or time. Okay, well then to do it. Thank you, Commander. I'll have the volunteer prepped and ready for surgery shortly. I'll send word when the procedure is complete. Okay, Van Dorn. Unfortunately, unlike Psy, we can't pull you out, which makes me think there was actually no point in doing multiples at the same time. By the way, the other thing that I was going to do, considering we're heading into the end game now, or the late, late game, is starting to mech up our lowest ranking B tier soldiers. And you know what, Alex? Considering you're not even Psy yet, although we can mech Psy troopers, they just lose the Psy abilities. Yes, Alex, we're going to do you. Your will's atrocious. Your perk tree is Blair. I mean, you got Cub Destruction, Light Em Up, and Sentinel? Or should I make you an officer? Light Em Up Sentinel, and you have Patmaster. Oh, you know what? I should make you an officer. Alex, I should make you an officer. Although, granted, your will is <laughs> it's atrocious. 
you know what? We don't need any more officers. As an officer, you wouldn't be, I mean, you wouldn't be terrible. You got light up and sentinel and cover destruction and pack master, actually a decent officer. But the problem is your will is absolutely terrible. That might actually be the lowest sergeant will we've got. Sorry, not the lowest sergeant will, literally the lowest will, bar Golden Apple, who is a corporal. Most people, Alex, have like plus 10 will above you at sergeant. Yeah, I can't do it. I cannot do it, not with such little will. So Alex, as a mech infantry, you get light em up and you keep your run rookie perk, which is vital point targeting, which isn't terrible, but you will have no guaranteed tanking perks. But it is about time we start mecking our B-listers. And the best place to start is with our Patreon viewers. So Alex, you're up. You get light em up and vital point targeting. Insufficient money, what? Shen, there is always money to cut off people's arms and legs. There you go. So yes, Alex, you lose those arms and legs. They're only slowing you down anyway. Once the required amputations have been completed, the engineering team will begin grafting the cybersuit interfaces onto the engineering team. When Alex is done, I'll consider who the next candidate is. But they need to fill two requirements. One, be a B-lister, that I'm struggling to find room to train when we're doing so many other kinds of training. And two, I'm gonna start off with the Patreon supporters. So I'll make a list of the soldiers we've got and we'll go from there. And I guess I'll just cut back to me saying goodbye. But that is the end of the episode. Good news all round, people. We've got an ethereal and we've got a council mission in Canada that might reduce its panic enough so that we actually stand a chance in the terror mission that should be here any second now. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to bring that like button and type in down in the comments below and let in bills know if they enjoyed the videos. Let's get some more people watching this before the end of the series. Speaking of people, stay away from them. Don't get the C-Virus. And thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.